says, let's go ahead and work this. Uh, it says 8.4 practice with calc. Uh, find the circumference of the object. Circumference is pretty easy. Remember, circumference is equal to uh, diameter times pi, or it could even be equal to two radiuses times pi. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I see a diameter going all the way across, and it says nine. So this first one's going to be equal to nine times pi. And nine times pi, I'm just going to grab the calculator here. Uh, nine times uh, pi is going to be equal to uh, 28. It's about, yeah, about 28. So let's see, uh, yeah, about 28 centimeters. All right. I guess if we just round it to the nearest hundredth, it's probably okay. Um, so that'd be 28.27. Let's just get it even just a little bit closer, 28.27. Centimeters. All right, number two is for you to do. Number three says, how many possible outcomes are there? Uh, your spinner, you spin the spinner showing how many possible outcomes are there? Um, well, I see one, two, three possible outcomes. Um, those three out possible outcomes, uh, three, they're going to be one, um, two, and three. Number four is for you to do. Number five says, uh, use the grid to estimate the area of the circle, the area of the circle. And the area's formula for a circle is pi r squared. Uh, so the diameter here, and I said the di diameter was all the way across, uh, is three. So if the diameter is 3 and the center is here, the radius must be 1.5. Because 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So this area is going to be equal to uh, 1.5 square times pi. So we'll put that in our calculator. So we're just going to take um, 1.5 times... Um, 1.5, that's going to equal 2.25, and then we're going to multiply that to 3.14. That's going to give us uh, about 7.065 centimeters. So the area, uh, did you say round it all? No, it doesn't. So we're talking 7.0. Is it six five? Yes, six five um, centimeters square. All right, uh, number six is for you to do. Number seventeen says find the area of the semicircle. Uh, the area of the semicircle, the area of a circle is our pi r square. So if it's half of the area, then it's going to be half of the problem. So first we've got to find r. Looks like the radius is 20 here. So pi uh, times 20 square divided by 2. Uh, I know pi is going to get multiplied to well, 20 times 20, 2 times 2 is 4, with two more zeros, that's going to be 400. And I'll double check over here with my uh, calculator. And, uh, 20 times 20 mm -hmm. is 400 over 2. Uh, I can divide 400 by 2 to make it 200. And that turns a 2 to 1. So this is going to equal 200 times pi. And that's going to be um, 200 uh, 
times pi. That's a uh, 628 and about 32. 628.32. And we already split it in half uh, centimeters squared. And I just realized I did number 17. Uh, and this jumped from 6 to 17, which means I need to go and do number 7 uh, through 16 really quick. Hold on. All right, for number 7, it says find the area, find the area of the circle. Um, if I'm finding the area of this circle, remember, one was pi r squared. The radius is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. We're going to take 81 and multiply it to pi. So over here, pi r squared equals the area. We take 9, 9 times 9 is 81 times pi. The area is 81 pi square uh, millimeters. So uh, when we says um, there equals pi r square. So that's 3.1 times uh, 81. That's going to equal 254.34. Uh, so that. The area is about 254.34 square millimeters. Now let's go to number nine now. Well, number nine has a radius of 10. So we're going to be taking 10 times 10, which is pi r square. Uh, that's going to give us 100. And 100 times 3.14 is going to give us 314. And as I said, uh, the radius is squared. 10 is my radius. 10 squared is 100. 100 times pi will be 3.14 times 10 to the second power, which is 3.14 times 100, 314 square inches. Let's go to number 11 now. Uh, if the diameter is 2, the radius is 1. That means we're multiplying 1 times 1, which is 1, and then we're taking that multiplying for 3.14. That tells me that it will be 3.14. As you can see here, uh, the radius is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So 1 times 1 is going to equal 1, right? And then we have 3.14 times 1. That's going to equal 3.14 square centimeters. All right, number uh, 13 is mine. Your friend finds the area of a circle with a diameter of 7. Uh, is your friend correct? All right, so they're saying the diameter is 7, and they said that R square is 14. Um, and is this correct? And we're going to go with no, because they should have took the diameter and divided it by 2. It looks like they multiplied it by 2. So I'm going to go with no, not correct, because you should have divided 7 by 2, and that would have given 3.5 multiplied by 3.14. So it says your friend is not correct. If the diameter is 7, the radius is 3.5. Five, and that uh, not 14, 3.14 times 3.5 to the second power would have been 3.14 times 12.25, which would have gave us 38.465 thousandths in square meters. Uh, 14 is for you to do. 15 says the diameter of the coaster is 7 centimeters. So we're talking about a coaster for a, a table to put cups on, seven centimeters. What is the total area of five coasters? Okay, so if the diameter is seven, just like over here, the diameter was seven, right? Uh, we're going to get the same uh, amount here for one coaster. If that's true, we're going to have to take 38.465 and multiply it to five, right? So let me do that. We're going to take um, 3, 8, 4, 6, 5. I'm going to multiply it to 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Here is a 2. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 3 is 23. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2 is 42. 
3 times 5 is 15 plus 4 make 19. Remember there at the decimal point comes over 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's going to give us 192.325 uh, for 5 coasters. As you can see, it says 192.325 centimeters. And I did forget to put centimeters on there. So I'll put centimeters. Okay. Uh, we got the same answers we did above over here, right? And we multiplied it times 5. That gave us our answer. All right, 16 is yours to do. 17 is where we left off, so I'm going to pause. All right, we're back over here. We worked 17 already. So now let's go to 19. Uh, 19 says the diameter is 2. Remember, we want the area of a semicircle. If the, uh, we're just going to erase some stuff here to make it easier. Remember, we're using the formula uh, for a semicircle. The area is divided by 2 for a circle, which is pi r squared divided by 2. So we're going to have pi. And this time the radius is going to be half of 2, and that's 1. Um, 1 times 1 is 1, so now we have pi times 1 divided by 2. Anything times 1 is itself, and we know pi is really 3.14. 3.14 times 1 is 3.14. 3.14 divided by 2. Let's see here. 3.14 divided by 2. 3.14 divided by 2 equals 1.57 feet squared. All right, let's head down to number 21. Uh, looks like 21 is going to be on the other one. So let's. So for 21, it says uh, find the area, explain how you found it. Uh, if I was going to do 21, I'd realize that I could take the formula for a circle, right? I find it and then multiply it to three fourths, or even multiply it to 0.75. Um, here we're talking about. They said it's about 300. Pi, they said it's going to be end up being about 942. Let's see what they're talking about here. They multiply the area, the entire circle by three fourths. That's one of the options I gave you. Uh, that gave us three fourths times 400 pi. We know that 20 is the radius, and 20 times 20. Let's not forget the formula that we're using, uh, pi r squared. And if r is 20, this is 20 squared times pi. So that is 20 times 20, which gives us 400. Um, <clears throat> 400 times 3 fourths will give us 300. So that's 300 pi. And 300 times pi is going to give us 942, uh, <clears throat> uh, 942 feet squared. All right. So it looks like I got number 23 now. Back on this side where 23 is, it says target A has a circumference of 20 feet and target B has a diameter of 3 feet. Well, uh, both targets have the same distance away, which target is easier to hit. The easier target is going to be a big one, but how do I know if this is bigger or not? I have to find out what the circumference is uh, for this diameter, right? The notice it talked about circumference. Um, the diameter, the formula for circumference equals diameter times pi, right? Now, this isn't nothing to do with area now, okay? Because we're talking about how round that target's going to be. So I can say the diameter is 3. This is 3 times 3.14. Well, 3.14 times uh, 3 is going to give us 9.42. Um, the circumference of the other one was 20 feet. 
This circumference is only 9.42. So target A should be an easier target to hit. Because it has a bigger circumference than target. Now, could we have used this with another method? Sure. Um, remember, my answer is going to be target A regardless. Uh, I could have compared the radius of each of these as well. Um, since I know that, uh, let's see, well, target B has a diameter of three feet. So target B, target B must have a radius of um, well, half a three, uh, radius of half a three is 1.5. Now let's see what the radius would have been for the circumference. Uh, in this one, we see that we've got 20 as a circ circumference, right? Uh, 20 is a circumference. Remember, circumference is equal to uh, 2 times the radius times pi, right? So this is 20 equals 2 times the radius times 3.14. Um, we know that 20 is going to be equal then to 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 times r. And I have to divide 6.28 to find the radius, which means I'll divide 20 by 6.28. It's just another way of trying to find out. So if I did that, I'd have 20 divided by 6.28. And that means our radius is about 3.18. So target A has a radius of uh, 3.18. You can see target A's radius is bigger, and target B, once again, it is bigger, thus it's easier to hit. All right, enough of number 23. Let's go to number 25. Find an area. So it says find the area of the circle in square yards. Find the area of the circle in square yards. They must be talking about this one here for 24 and the previous one, which we're not going to go ahead and do because I'll be solving it for you. So I'm going to take 25 off of the list. Don't do. Okay, number 27. Is the area of a semicircle with a diameter of X greater than than less than or equal to the area of a circle with a diameter of one half x. Okay, then it says explain. All right, I'm going to do my best to explain this. And I'm just going to paste this here. It says uh, greater than the circle's diameter. Okay, we're talking about this. Remember, what it says is the area of a semicircle, semicircle area uh, with a diameter of x. Okay, the diameter is x, uh, less than or equal to the area of a circle with a diameter that's one half x. Okay, one half of x. So if I do this, I see it says um, semicircle is bigger. And that makes sense. You see that it resides in the semicircle here, right? Um, <clears throat> so if this is the area of the semicircle with the diameter of x greater than or less than or equal to the area of a circle with one half with a diameter of one half x. The diameter is all the way across, right? And if we do this, we're going to see um, <clears throat> the area of a circle with that would be one fourth because we'll need the radius, right? So the area will be 
because this is pi r squared, and a diameter is twice the radius, so that was one half would be one fourth uh, squared times pi. Uh, this is going to give me 1 over 16 pi. <clears throat> okay. And I guess that's going to be uh, 3.14 divided by 16. Three point one four divided by sixteen gives us point uh, nineteen six twenty five. All right, let's look at x now. Remember, uh, this is one half. And that means this is one half. So if this diameter is two uh, times that this is going to be equal to 1, all right? Now it says, uh, is the area of the semicircle. So for this semicircle, we're going to be taking um, <clears throat> pi r squared and dividing it by 2. So we're going to have 3.14 times, remember this is 1, squared divided by two. So this is going to be equal to, well, one times one is one, and one times 3.14 is just 3.14. Now we have uh, divided by two, and we said before that was um, well, um, 3.14 divided by two. That's 1.57. So um, the semicircle is definitely a lot bigger than the dimensions of the circle. All right. Um, that's all the ones I had to do. Good luck with the ones you have to do, and I'll see you in class for good.